him a fundamental player in one of the senses that he's just like he's basically taking a character that's like it's a lower tier character yeah and he's studied it to a point where like he's he's making it try he's trying to use it as effectively as possible yeah and so like that's like one of the parts of melee is studying your character to the maximum ability to know what to do at all times yeah and uh, the way that I like reason with it is obviously these characters weren't put in the game like to be bad intentionally yeah. Like, obviously, when the game was developed, they wanted them to have moves that were also pretty good, you know? It's not yeah. like these characters are just useless. Like, even Kirby and Pichu have some stuff. Um, and we've seen, you know, pretty successful um, inks in the history of Melee, uh, including uh, one of Colorado's very own in Lobo. He was actually uh, number one in the state for a really long time, playing only Link, uh, up until, you know, people started coming around to the whole exploiting the low tiers thing. Yeah. Uh, but you have J666. Being the low tier warden. Yeah. Oh, it keeps trying to hit him with that up. He, uh, just a little too low, or a little too high on the platform, actually. Yeah, the fickle platforms here. Yeah, and, and I know he just wants. It looks like he's re relying on it a little too much. He wants envelope to like approach, and he's trying to predict the approach, but it's just not happening for him. Yeah, I feel like if you watch uh, Chief Keith play, a lot of his, uh, you know. Big punishes are going to come from it. He tried to do the up B again and then does the up B again. So he's pretty up B reliant. Wow, just drifts off the top. Didn't think that was going to kill him. He's just playing a little too autopilot y here, I think. Yeah, I think you have the mentality that it's a spacey and that yeah. up B will do, you know. This is going to do the trick. The spacey it killer. Just pops him off. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Misses the tech. Gets hit with the downer. Going to kill him off the top. All right. So Chief Keef has a little bit of ground to make up here, but it's doable. You yeah. just gotta use those mix-up options. And the thing that makes a low tier a low tier, right, is that they have uh, like pretty notor notoriously bad matchups against the top tiers. And I know a lot of Link mains like uh, J666 and Germ think that it's either this or Sheik that are his worst matchup. Uh, so obviously Fox is, he has super easy wave shine setups on Link. Yeah. Link's perfect combo weight, I'm just gonna take him out, yeah. Link gets edgeguarded. Not the easiest, but it's not like it's super uh, super tricky either, you know? Link doesn't have strong combos on Fox in the first place. Either. Yeah. He only has, like, like the strongest thing he has is, like, up air strings mostly. Yeah, it and requires that's a lot of hard reads to get yeah. stuff on Fox. He does have projectile game, but it's really hard to implement when the Fox knows what he's doing to move around uh, projectiles. He can always use his reflector to stop those projectiles. Yeah. His, uh... <laughs> What is it? The, the and that's like that's what it's called, right? The official name is the reflector. Yeah, I think that's like nine or ten. Oh my uppies god! Yeah. on the stage in this match. That oh my god! Chief Keef threw out with no connection at all. Cody feeling himself right now. Looking a bit desperate, yeah, yeah. against envelope. Cody is uh, yeah, that was pretty disgusting. Dan eating a gordita or a quesadilla, whatever Mexican food it is. But that was yeah. Also miming throwing up over the <laughs> sickness of that combo. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. The that's the that's the classic 20xx dude. You do the sickest shield pressure, and then you just get grabbed out of it. That's the yeah. that's the funniest thing. I love that. Yeah, Chiefy's he's playing a little too much on the ledge here. You don't want to do that against Fox, who has such easy kill options in Shine and Shine. Especially against oh, the Oh, SDs, yeah. I think he, he might have been able to catch the Randall if he pulled left, but yeah. I don't think he noticed the Randall had gone to the left earlier. But that was definitely an option. Yeah. So this stage choice from Chief Keef. Again, one of those... It's good for both characters, it's I suppose. A little, wow. He's doing a little good of, bit wow. of abuse here. Oh my goodness, this edge play, and Fox is still going to live. Yeah. He did I rack mean, up like 59%, but that was, I mean, that's, that was insane. That's like decent right now. Because he's got him above, he's got him in this, uh, I told you, that up air situation. Isn't that crazy? Fox was off stage on Yoshi's. In any other situation, in a, with any other character, Sheik Nair would have killed, Marth Down Air would have killed, Fox Shine would have killed, he Falco Down Air would have killed. He upbeated him with the final hit of the upbeat into the stage. It should That should have been in like a kill stage fight. Yeah, but and he... He nared him like Still. three times, and then he was the one who ended up <laughs> losing his stock. Yeah. Uh, it's rough out there for these low tier mains, man. Yeah, he keeps trying to get him with up. He had a shield. You see the startup frames, but it actually doesn't come out till I think Studmonger said frame seven, which is reasonably fast. It's as fast as a lot of characters grabs, but at the same rate, it doesn't beat Shine. You can Shine. You know. It's really easy to predict <laughs> if he's using it so often. Yeah. You can also so Shine out like a shield twice, yeah. twice as frequently as you can up. He had a shield, which is you know a testament to how good Shine is. Cody's platform movement, wow. Definitely did just Waveland Bear into Waveland Bear. That was pretty sick. Cody's movement, uh, nothing to be scoffed at, obviously. Spent a lot of hours in the lab. It's a very 
probably one of the more devoted young smashers. Indeed, that was a pretty good conversion to the upbeat from Chief Keith. Yeah, there. he's definitely starting to work with the projectile the bomb. gets the double nair. Yeah, he needs to pull the bomb, and that's one of the big Ooh, problems that you run into also in this matchup is that Fox's pressure is strong enough so such that you really don't find space to pull that bomb out. Yeah. Even though it's a really strong option for you to have that third projectile. Yeah, third projectile. Even though most links and young links aren't going to pull out the bow that often. Yeah. And Chief Keef seems to, uh, all he had to do was grab the ledge that one time. He would have taken that stock, but unfortunately he's eating all this percent due to that one drop punish. So this should accentuate how important it is to get your punishes off, especially if you're in a heavily unfavored matchup such as Link Fox. He still brought it back to even though. Yeah. Yeah, it does a super early up B, which gives Cody time to react and go to ledge. Then gets Drill Shine up smash. Super, super free for, uh, I mean, not super free, it's obviously free. Input intensive <laughs> and timing intensive, but uh, but still, if you, if you get the shine, he was punished. Yeah. yeah. Up B, all right, now it's going to be last dot game two. Only a 4% differential, which is nothing. Yeah. Chief Keef's got to play it real tight and defensively here. I hate how, like, I do a lot of the. Smash commentary monikers that are super like cliche. It's like, oh, well, three stocks, not a lead. Technically, technically it is. Uh, oh, reads the tech. Gets oh, yeah. the down smash. When the documentary came out, everyone was like, one stock is not a lead. And when you're commentating, and like there are players who are like decent, uh, who have strong enough combo games, or like matchups are such like this, we're like, oh, wow. Ooh. Chief Keith. Yeah, it takes the second game. Okay, so he's spacing the uppies a lot yeah, better. Yeah, I believe he hit with five uppies that last stock. <laughs> Did he the, just uh, slowly walk up and uppie? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> takes him to Battlefield. Um, All right, back to neutral. Both these characters have pretty abysmal recoveries on the stage. I mean, not abysmal. I mean, obviously, you're still Fox. You're still the best. Um, but this stage also has a vendetta against players. Yeah, it's like, it's not technically like bad it's just super limiting like fox has to side b sweet spot otherwise he lands on stage or either yeah. misses um or he has no up b right right the ledge angles yeah chief keeps to start reading these texts away he's getting a little preemptive on these up yeah, it's a super easy stage to get platform up uh, pineapple by as well yeah if you're coming at a low angle and you want to either sweet spot the ledge or uh, come right over this under the stage i'll be out of shield yeah i feel like it's super hard because you know he shouldn't be up being as frequently as he can, but then again you're Link. Like you have no real other consistent kill option. Right? The bomb Link looking the like Snake from PM, <laughs> holding the holding the bomb long enough that he bops himself out of the pressure. Yeah, not a great favorable position, but he's still got the percent lead. A bear, not he gonna. Just needs to catch a really strong hitbox here. Yeah, that's one of the things that Link has going for. Wow, up miss yeah, up he's the miss. Yeah, missed the tech. Link has a couple things going for him that are also against him. Like his weight allows him to be comboed by most of the cast pretty easily, but it also allows him to survive some hits that other characters might not. Yeah. Yeah, missed tech. He even had a chance to charge that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, looks like we're uh, pretty even. Game yeah, just two. a couple percent on envelope and making those up pretty quickly. Yeah. But that's one of the other quirks of Link is the boomerang and the bomb that they have that neutral resetting capability oh, wow. when the boomerang comes back and interrupts a combo. Yeah. Because as you saw, the wave shine combo just got stopped. Yeah, the upbeat, like, I feel like it's uh, being used a little bit more as a crutch than it actually is as a tool. There you go. Then I hit him with that one. That's the kind of thing you need to do is block a hit with some lag and then up it. Yeah, it's like as Link you Ooh, have Ooh, that was really, really risky. Oh, wow. Miss spaces the up smash is going to die to the up be at a shield again. That forward air was really well spaced. If he had forward aired like he did, and done it just a bit lower, he might not have caught the ledge of the stage. Oh, and misses the uh, tether recovery there. I think it's called a tether. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, game, the uh, hook shot. Grapple. The hook shot. Yeah, the hook shot. It is a tether recovery. That's the technical term for like. Wow, power shield to shine? Wow, he's tech chasing. Oh my gosh, yeah. Our, uh, our crowd of seven people are getting hyped right now. That's another reason why you guys need to come out to Mainland Monday, is the crowds are just. We do the best of what we They're can. They're dedicated but, sometimes. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're really dedicated sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to hear the cheering, unless you have to face Cyrox in the winner's finals, and then he's going to body you. Yeah. Not like I'm in that position right now. Oh, wow. Up air, down air. He's going to up Yep. Oh, oh, the, the, oh wow. Cancels. That's oh, okay. but then up yeah, again. Fine. Yeah. yeah. It's fine because he finds the secondary up Yeah, he finds up the second one. Cody really the spin attack is strong. Infused with the magic of Nehru. Yeah. <laughs> Faror and Din. 
This is like no offense to Chief Keith because I do think he's a really solid fundamental player, but if you were to take this victory over Cody, I think I'd, a lot of people would be pretty surprised. Yeah, this is an upset, definitely. Especially oh. just for the nature of their the kind of characters they are. Yeah. You expect Fox that tactical fundamental thing. Yeah. So this is going to be the last stock. 80% uh, differential. Oh, here it goes. This could have been... Oh, he did. He opted to not go for the... Uh, for the tech chase, he kind of shielded in place, expecting a get up attack. But Cody teched away a lot this uh, this whole set, actually. So maybe Chief Keef will adapt to that in the last stock. This is a really weird air dodge. Must have been a miss. Wave Dodges action, the uppy. That was a really smart jump. Yeah. He full hop, not a short. And if he had done a short hop, he kind of would have gotten clipped. That's one thing that I do like about Chief Keef, though, is that uh, his boomerang play is actually really smart. He does it as a really good anti air. Oh my gosh, he did it too early. So close. Yeah. If that would have hit, that would have been it. That there was no angle that, Co or that Fox could have gone at besides maybe straight up. Maybe straight up, but I think oh, it was at the edge of the stage. And then up, and yeah, and that's up be smash it. finishes yeah. it, yeah. Cody takes game three. Yeah, Cody, he was having trouble. Uh, at first, the up were 